So I made this little blue character in Nomad. I rendered it in Blender Cycles as usual. In Nomad, I made this like kind of gloopy stuff. So I thought it'd be really cool to create that with a liquid simulation in Blender, kind of like a syrupy simulation in Blender. We're gonna see how it goes. But I also don't know how to do liquids. I don't know how to do liquid simulations. So I was looking through YouTube. So I found this. So this is a like a syrupy simulation. Unfortunately, of course, it's in one minute, like all, like every other Blender tutorial. So I'm going to try to figure this out. So I'm switching to Blender. Hit F3. Quick liquids. Maybe I need to be in edit mode. Okay, he's in edit mode. Select the smaller cube and scale it down. So this is the smaller cube. Okay. Is this the cube? Oh, that's the cube. So I'm going to bring this down into parts. I'm going to make a new collection. I want this to be its own collection. I'm going to call this lights and I'm going to move the lights into lights. We'll move. This will be camera cube is going to be liquid cube and the sphere is going to be the bowl. OK, so I had to go liquid cube, go back to tab into object mode and I'm going to scale that down. We'll bring back the liquid domain. OK. Select the smaller cube, scale it down. Okay, so he scaled it down and moved it up. And then move it up. And then select the bigger cube. Change the resolution. Okay, take the bigger cube and change the resolution to 64. Okay, the liquid domain in the physics tab. So go to the physics tab, liquid domain, resolution divisions 64. Okay. Enable viscosity. Enable viscosity. Now I saw on the comments that I don't know if viscosity is here anymore. Oh, let's see if he does the pull down menu. Sometimes Blender just will just change the names to make sure all the old tutorials are obsolete. Change the name for funsies. High viscosity solver. Ah, maybe that's it. So we'll turn that on. Strength is at 0.50 mesh. and mesh. Under cash change from replay to all bake so under cache replay to all i think that's what he said it's from replay to all bake replay to all and then bake i guess it's bake all so mine is baking so let's see what happens if i do this okay it kind of worked oh but i saw some people mention something in the comments so let's look at the comments again great video but you forgot to say set to inflow at the beginning don't make tutorials if you're going to do stuff and not announce it setting it to outflow at 13 is an important step you don't mention okay so we're on the smaller cube liquid cube fluid type flow flow type Okay, outflow. Let's try outflow. I, pr I might need to bake everything again. That was back in the physics tab. So back in the physics tab, flow behavior. One person says inflow, one person says outflow. <laughs> so I don't know which I need. Okay, so it looks like we'll just try both. But that just means I have to bake both of them, I guess. Wait, where did I, where did I bake? What did I bake at first? Bigger, bigger, bigger cube. So that's the liquid domain. So I'm going to push this back to zero. Oh, good. Okay. So I'm in edit mode and I just hit all cash. And can I not bake it? Oh, there we go. So I had to tab back into object mode in order to free all, but now I want to bake. Okay. So now I'm baking again and I believe we have outflow. So we'll go back to the beginning and hit play. Okay, so it looks like it was inflow. Does it stop? It comes through. <laughs> what is it actually landing on? I'm so confused. If the bowl wasn't there, what is it actually landing on? Oh, there's like a, oh, it's the box, isn't it? It's the box, right? So we're doing well so far. Okay, give it an orange color, okay. I think he's in the shading window. I'll just move this light up a little bit. Cube, liquid cube. Oh, we want the liquid cube, not the liquid domain. We want the liquid cube. So we'll set this to an orangey color. Turn the subsurface on. 
maybe maybe one and we'll do the scale to maybe four since there's more than just turning it on really it's not really on or off transmission to one okay i know what that is so that's that makes it like transparent they couldn't have like transparency because that would be that would be too literal and too easy people would understand that ior to 1.5 okay ior here and i guess we're just changing this to 1.5 Okay, add a plane, which we did. So I'm gonna go back to layout. I'll bring my plane back. I need to find that big box again. If I go to tab, there it is. Okay, so then I'm done. His is hitting the plane. That's okay. So let's move this down so that the bottom is on the plane. Liquid cube, can I move this down now? Now there's like double. Oh, you know what? It's because of the, I baked some stuff in that's what it is so i think it's liquid domain okay so i'm just trying to bake it because i believe that the this rectangle is acting as though it's the outer shell like a like containing the syrup but if i would have known earlier on that you want to make the bottom level with whatever you want it to be hitting that would have been helpful let's switch back to cycles Oh, that's weird. It didn't change the color. Liquid gold, liquid domain. Do I need to change that color instead? Oh, so you have to change the liquid domain color. Oh, and you have to hide this from the viewport. High liquid cube from the viewport and the render. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty much the essence of kind of decoding the tutorial for myself. Uh, shout out to, shout out to MEA bros for making the tutorial because you know i was able to f kind of figure it out and what happens is blender moves on things change so sometimes tutorials are harder but we were able to get there so i think that's a win so i have to shout out mea bros all right we'll be back